We return now to our special coverage on the life and legacy of Mother Angelica. EWTN's chairman and CEO, Michael Warsaw, joining us from our network headquarters in Irondale, Alabama. Michael, mother had an impeccable sense of timing. What do you make of her timing as she passed to eternal life on Easter Sunday? Well, you're right, Brian. Mother did have an impeccable sense of timing, and I, I think her, her passing to the next life on Easter is really just a great gift to all of us. Uh, it's a great gift from God to her to bring her home with him on the Feast of the Resurrection. And for all of us, I, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful gift and a sign of his love and affirmation for her and the work that she's done for him throughout her entire life. It's and a beautiful way to end her life. Indeed. You're sitting on the very set where we watched Mother Angelica live. Was she aware in these recent years of the incredible growth of her network? She was very much aware of the growth of the network. The nuns kept her regularly informed about new developments as we'd start a new service or launch something new. And I attribute that growth really to the fruit of her prayers, of her sufferings offered on behalf of the network. Uh, that's, that was perhaps her most important work on behalf of EWTN throughout her life. She started the network very humbly in a garage just a few feet from where you're sitting. Uh, as we move forward and EWTN branches out in so many new directions, how do we stay true to those humble beginnings, that original mission that Mother envisioned for EWTN? I think we have to look to Mother herself. You know, one time many years ago I asked her what she thought the greatest legacy of EWTN and, and what her legacy would be. And she told me that it wouldn't be the number of television channels or the number of homes or all of these things that in the eyes of the world define success and greatness. She said what is her legacy and the legacy of EWTN is the way we accomplished and have accomplished all that we've done by relying completely and totally on God's providence. And I think as we go forward, as long as we always stay true to that point, to that focus of remaining true to and relying on God's providence, God will continue to bless the work that EWTN does well into the future. Under your guidance, we will move forward faithfully with Mother Angelica. Michael Warsaw, CEO of EWTN, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Brian.